The fuel cell vehicle, FCV, is an automotive holy grail that promises the low emissions of a battery electric vehicle. BEV, with the range and refueling convenience of a gasoline-powered car, but with the exception of road-going experiments such as you the FCV always seems years away. Available only as a three-year lease. That brings the FCV closer. Costing drivers $499 per month plus $2,999 down. In California, where the crossover is marketed exclusively, the state will pay the down payment and then some with a $5,000 subsidy meaning the monthly payment works out to $443. To sweeten the deal, Hyundai picks up the hydrogen fuel tab, probably because federal incentives for FCVs go straight to the manufacturer. According to Hyundai, the cost of the technology has been cut by 40% over the past 15 years. Still, fuel cells remain expensive, in part because of the platinum needed for their proton exchange membranes. In simplest terms, the fuel cell makes its electricity from an electrochemical reaction between hydrogen and air. Hydrogen atoms stored in high-pressure tanks pass through a membrane that strips away their electrons, creating the electricity to power a drive motor. Water from hydrogen protons combining with air on the other side of the membrane exits the tailpipe. Hydrogen may be the most abundant element in the universe. But isolating it on Earth requires work. NFCV's total greenhouse gas production everything from vehicle manufacturing to fuel. Distribution depends on how its fuel is created. Hydrogen can be accumulated in a number of ways. But the simplest method is electrolysis. If the electricity that splits the hydrogen from oxygen comes from a renewable source, and the hydrogen is piped to the fueling station, NFCV has half the greenhouse gas impact of a BEV charged on California's power grid, where electricity sources are varied. Quote, 